Chris Kett with your daily personal trainer, Strength Circuit. For this month, we're adding an additional day. Right? The, today is devoted to getting stronger in lifts that are going to kind of act as the drivers for our physical development. Today we have three exercises that I'm going to demonstrate and then give you levels for each. I'm going to give you a level one, a level two, and a level three. And the way it works is this. We're going to do 40 seconds of work of each exercise followed by a 20 second rest and transition period. If you can make it through the full 40 seconds with proper form, then I want you to move to the next level. The objective is to make it to level three um, and do it all the way through. And if you can do that, you can certainly post questions in the group and I can help you to uh, progress that beyond level three. So for today, our exercises are a push-up, all right? And for, for our push-up, the form that I'm looking for is the back stays flat like a table, all right? A lot of people do push-ups kind of like a worm where they're leading with their hips. What I want is flat back, all right? My elbows are slightly tucked in my side chest touches whatever surface that I'm pushing up on, and I come back up, okay? This would be level one, okay? My hands are up on a box here. Um, I can certainly uh, elevate them on a table or a chair, but keep in mind that the lower we go, um, the harder it's gonna be because the more body weight that I'm bearing, and the higher we go, such as a wall, a chair, down to a box, the, you know, the harder it's gonna be. So you can scale up and down, and I would consider all of that level one. Level two is going to be the floor. All right, with, with level two, for a lot of people that are just starting out, it might not be possible to do a full push-up. So what I'd like to do, I'll give you a couple ways that you can kind of progress this. Number one, you know, again, proper form would be back is flat, chest comes down, you come back up. But what you'll notice is that I have a pad here. Okay, now this pad is my kind of my target that I'm dropping down to. And what you can do is use several carpet squares to kind of move through a lesser range of motion. So this is more of a partial range of motion. I come down, I come back up. It would be harder if I removed it and got my chest all the way down the floor, which is ultimately what we want before we progress this, all right? So for those that can't necessarily push up and down all the way, using kind of this halfway point would be a good starting place. And then you can kind of remove things as a little intermediary step. What you could also do if you're stuck it's just lower slowly. So I count to maybe one, two, three, four, stop, start over, one, two, three, four, stop. You know, if you're stuck about halfway up and down, maybe you alternate these partial push-ups with a lowering, eventually it'll get to the floor. Now our third level, our hardest level, would be a feet elevated push-up. Right, with this, you can put your feet up on a box, up on a chair, whatever it may be. But again, the same will apply, chest comes down, and it comes back up, and you can use any of these steps that we talked about on the floor, certainly for a level one or level three as well. Now our second exercise is what we call an ISO squat jump, all right? The first, uh, the first uh, sort of iteration of this, or the first level, is just an air squat, all right? I'll hold a little bit of weight here, be an eight pounder, start at the bottom, count to three, one, two, three, Come up, start again, one, two, three, and that's probably gonna be pretty easy for you. Once you can do that with proper form, we're going to move to a squat jump. So again, level two would be just a bodyweight squat jump where I start in a deep squat position, one, two, three, I jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, jump. So again, you're kind of, it's kind of building endurance and strength at the same time. The way we take that to level three, is we make it hard, we make it heavier, we hold on to weight. So I can hold on to an eight pounder here, get an uh, eight pound medicine ball. Certainly you can use like a, a bag or you know, a purse or whatever you have available to you. Small dumbbells, hold, one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, that's a killer right there. I predict that you'll love it, hate it. Now for our last exercise, we have a chin up hang, or we have a chin up in general. Again, I'm gonna take you through three levels of this. But the key to understanding this is that um, for the chin up, if you don't have access to a, a bar, you can certainly do a band pullback as a substitute exercise. But as we get harder, and as you're gonna get stronger, there will be a couple of just cheap pieces of equipment that we're going to need. We can get a, a replaceable chin up bar, like a Walgreens, a CVS, you know, Walmart, what have you, um, I think it's around 15 to $20. So that's definitely something to invest in for this month. And our, our first exercise, or our first level with the chin up, is just going to be a chin up hang. All right, so I'm gonna jump up, 
Hold for 10 seconds. Come back down. All right, jump up. Drop 10. Come back down. All right, that's what we want ultimately is to be able to hang there for the entire 40 second period. All right, but what I like to do is I'll start with maybe five second hangs. I'll come down for maybe five seconds and I'll alternate. As I get stronger, I'll just hold for longer, come down until I can hold for that full 40 second period. Now our next level would be a jump, hang, and lower. All right, so rather than just hanging there, I might hold for five seconds and then I'm just lowering down. All right, that's actually more of an intermediary step between levels one and three, but that'll help to kind of bridge the gap. So once you can hang for 40 seconds, start to hit the lowers. Our last level is a full chin up. So again, retract my shoulder blades, pull myself up, pause at the top and come back down. If you don't have a full chin up, what you can do is move from a partial position. So you'll notice here, my knees are bent, my elbows are maybe halfway there. I just pull myself up from there, single supply as I get better. I can just pull from a more flexed knee position until I have the full chin up. But again, we have the push up, followed by the squat, followed by the chin up, back to back. 40 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest. What I want you to post is the level that you achieved that day, comments about your progress, and that's where we're looking to progress throughout the week.